Alrighty, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Disney's Club at Jazz and Lincoln Center. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We're about to hear some great music by some wonderful and extraordinary artists. Just a few house rules, just to be mindful of the conversations at the table and just keep them to a quiet whisper so we can all go on this musical journey together. So without further ado, let's give a Disney's Club welcome to Charles Pillow Large Ensemble, Electric Miles.
Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, we're delighted to be here playing for you. Um, and uh, more importantly, we're delighted that you're here. So thank you for coming out. We know you have lots of choices. And uh, I want to uh, have a special shout out to University of Rochester and Eastman Community Group came out, so thank you. Fantastic. Uh, that first song uh, was uh, the opening uh, title of sort of a recording that we're celebrating tonight. It's the 50th anniversary of, and I'm talking to the day of the recording of a landmark recording of Miles Davis is called Bitches Brew. Fifty years ago today, they started recording, August 19th. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. So it's, it's one of those recordings that's a little bit misunderstood, perhaps. So we hope this uh, sheds a little light on it, perhaps. Uh, anyway, we're going to move... Uh, we're sort of celebrating a very narrow window of Miles Davis music from 1969 to 72. So um, we're going to move ahead to the follow-up recording. Um, and this was a, a, a recording that My Miles is a... A lot of you probably know about this. He was a big boxing fan. He liked... He trained as a fighter himself, worked out at the gym, and he loved fighters. So he was in some uh, happenstance um, connected to a film about Jack Johnson. So he recorded a, a wealth of material, um, not just about Jack Johnson, but other fighters um, uh, that didn't sort of make the recording. But um, this song isn't about a fighter necessarily, but it's a very 1970s title. It's, um, it's called yes, Yester Now. Oh, I'm sorry. And that was Tim Hagen's on trumpet. Tim Hagen's, yeah. Is it your birthday today? And yesterday I was going to feature Mark Faniff on flute, um, um, Gary Versace on piano, and Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Thank you. 
Troy Roberts, Santana. Troy Roberts, Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Mark Faniff on alto flute. Yeah. And Gary Versace on piano. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is the title track um, back to 1969 of uh, the uh, very misunderstood recording called Bitches Brew. It's, it's actually one of Miles' most still best-selling uh, recordings um, along with Kind, kind of Blue. This is uh, t 10 years later uh, from Kind of Blue. All right, here we go. Bitches Brew. This is uh, Clay Jenkins again on trumpet and Alexa Tarantino on alto. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Alexa Tarantino and Alto. Yeah. Yeah. And Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Um, so I, I mentioned earlier that we're celebrating uh, a slender window of Miles' uh, over. 69 through 72. This actually is a tune from the record just before Bitches Brew. It was called In a Silent Way. Also a very, yeah, a very um, important and sort of misunderstood recording. Um, his teammate, the very, very important composer, Joe Zavinol, who of course went on to, re to, to form Weather Report, which is so important. Um, to music after 1970. And uh, it informed a lot of the jazz you hear now and all sorts of different veins, the way the music went. Um, um, and I forgot to mention that very first thing that we did, Pharaoh's Dance, that was also a Joe Zavinal tune. Apparently when, when Miles called the musicians uh, to make this record, he just said, bring, bring some music. So, you know, that's, that doesn't happen these days, that's for sure. So uh, anyway, this is uh, this is a very um, ambient composition of sort of a kind of a hymn to his homeland. He was from Austria, so this is in a silent way, and you're going to hear from Tim Hagens on trumpet.
Jared Schoenig on the drums. Yeah. Tim Hagen's on again on the trumpet. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned earlier about Joe Zavinul and the weather report and how, how important all these, uh, these fusion sort of bands, later became fusion bands, got their start with Miles. Uh, Wayne Shorter was also on these records, uh, as was Lenny White, uh, Chick Corea, Herbie Hancock, all those guys that, that went on to become huge uh, names in this, this, this kind of music. So um, this next piece is a Wayne Shorter uh, composition was also on uh, Bitches Brew as well. It's, uh, I think Wayne, um, I don't believe he recorded it again until much, much later, um, his band that he sort of has now. Um, it's, I don't know of any other recordings of this tune. Um, it's a very interesting uh, rendition on the original, um, the r original recording. Um, and this uh, arrangement will feature sort of the, the band and, 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 um, uh, and, of course, Jared Schoenig again. This is Wayne Schroeder's Sanctuary.
right, thank you, thank you. Sanctuary by Wayne Shorter. Uh, this next thing, uh, this is uh, uh, another misunderstood Miles Davis recording, uh, at least I think so. Um, this one was called On the Corner and uh, features the Miles is starting, starting to really be influenced by Sly Stone and James Brown and he wanted to get some of that that funk in his music, you know, and he was really listening to these these pop artists, and he was also listening to some some serial mu serial music and some tape music that was a new technology at the time, Stockhausen, and uh, he he enlisted the the uh, su support and help of a British uh, gentleman who played cello and was a composer and used tape loops and that kind of thing, which is a really new technology at the time. His name was Paul Buckmaster. And uh, uh, Miles um, wanted him to compose a quirky melody. Um, I think Miles may have, may have whistled it to him or something and said, write something like this. So um, they sort of wrote this together. This is called Black Satin from On the Corner. Oh, sorry. You're going to feature, feature Alan Ferber on trombone and Clay Jenkins on trumpet.
thank you. Alan Ferber on trombone. And Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Uh, before we do our last uh, last uh, uh, composition, I just want to say thanks again. I think the I think the dean is here, uh, Eastman School, and some of the trustees. So thank you so much. It, yeah, it means this is this is kind of an Eastman heavy band. You know, I won't, I won't name names, but. Uh, thank you so much for spending the evening with us. Hope you enjoyed the music. Um, and um, uh, this last composition is uh, another Joe Zavinal tune written actually for the Cannonball Adderley group uh, before he was playing with Miles. Um, it's called Directions. But first, let me introduce the entire band. Gary Versace on piano. Troy Roberts on tenor. <laughs> Alexa Tarantino on alto. Mark Faniff on tenor and flute. Owen Broder on bass clarinet. Jeff Nelson on bass trombone. Keith O'Quinn on trombone. Alan Ferber on trombone. And 2019 Tony Award nominee, Mike Davis. What do you got? Uh, Tim Hagen's happy birthday on trumpet. Scott Winhold on trumpet. Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Can't do a record in New York without Tony Cadillac. Trumpet. Frank Green from the Count Basie organization. Chuck Bajeron, Mi Hermano on bass. The Big Show, Jared Schoenig on drums. Thank you again so much for coming out. Um, this is uh, an incredible place to play. It's really great here. So, um, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, so this is Directions. We've got Tim Higgins on trumpet. We've got Scott Winhold on trumpet, uh, Mike Davis on trombone, and Troy Roberts on tenor saxophone. Thank you for coming out.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dizzy's Club at Jazz Lincoln Center. Thank you for coming and joining us this evening. We're going to hear some great music by some wonderful and extraordinary artists. So without further ado, let's give a Dizzy's Club welcome performing Electric Miles, the Charles Pillow Large Ensemble. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Uh, that first uh, tune was the, uh, the opening uh, track of a record we're sort of celebrating uh, the 50th anniversary of, and I'm referring to Miles Davis's uh, record from 1969 entitled Bitches Brew, um, a, sort of a landmark recording for jazz, the beginnings of jazz fusion. Um, and the title, uh, the title is Bitches Brew. The, the tune was called Pharaoh's Dance, written by Joe Zavano. If you're familiar with fusion music, which started around that time, he was one of the primary composers of all this music. Um, and he went on to form a band called Weather Report. You may know about them. Uh, at any rate, we're, we're so glad to be here playing at Dizzy's. But more importantly, we're so glad you're here. So, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, and we're also celebrating the release of the ensemble's recording, which we have uh, copies of at the bar, if you're interested. Um, anyway, uh, we're celebrating a sort of a slender window from 1969 to 1972. So um, this next tune is from a record right after that, 1970. It was um, Miles's tribute to boxers. He was a fighter, sort of himself, so he composed an entire record about different boxers, and this one, uh, the, the final product was just about one boxer, Jack Johnson. And uh, this, this is a tune from that recording, um, a very 1970-ish title. It's called Yester Now. You're going to hear from Clay Jenkins on trumpet, Mark Faniff on flute, Gary Versace on piano, and Troy Roberts on tenor sax. Thank you. 
from Tennis Axe. Yeah. Clay, Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Mark Faniff on flute. And Gary Versace on piano. So as I said earlier, we're sort of celebrating this, uh, this this narrow window of Miles Davis music. Well, it just so happens that today, exactly to the day, 50 years ago, today, August 19th, 1969, Miles brought his cast of musicians into the studio in New York to start making this record, Bitches Brew. So that's kind of a coincidence, right? I mean, you know, who would have figured? Anyway, okay, so the, this we're going to do the title track, Bitches, Bitches Brew, now. Um, it's... Um, Originally written by by Miles, a lot of the tunes were written by other folks. But this this bass line in particular is very iconic, and you you may recognize it if you know uh, some of Miles's material. Um, um, it's going to feature Clay Jenkins on trumpet and Alexa Tarantino on alto. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Alexa Tarantino is alto. And Clay Jenkins on trumpet. Uh, we're going to continue with um, the title track of an album just prior to Bitches Brew and, and Miles' chronology. Um, it's a, it was an ambient, an, an, it was a new type of composition. Ambient music hadn't really been performed yet. And Joe Zavano, uh, I mentioned earlier, uh, wrote, wrote this um, sort of... Uh, uh, dedicated uh, song to his his homeland. He was from Austria. So this is called In a Silent Way, and you're going to hear from Tim Hagens on trumpet.
Jared, show her the drums. And Tim Hagen's on trumpet. Yeah. All right, we're going to continue with uh, uh, a Wayne Shorter composition. He was another uh, founding member of Weather Report with Joe Zavinal, and they were both on Bitches Brew, and other, they played with Miles for... Um, Wayne played with him, obviously, for a very long time. Um, anyway, this is a composition by Wayne Shorter. Um, it's going to feature an introduction by Gary Versace and Tim Hagens, and then the rest of the chart kind of features Jared. So... I uh, hope you enjoy. Yeah, again. So, <laughs> all right, so this is uh, Wayne Shorter's Sanctuary.
Yeah, thank you. Wayne Shorter's Sanctuary. Um, now we kind of move, fa we fast forward to 1972. Miles had been uh, interested in uh, some composers like Stockhausen. Um, uh, technologies back in that time was uh, t tape loops, and some classical composers were, were using that, that technology to make music. So Miles uh, wanted to get some of that in his music, and he enlisted the support of an English uh, cellist and composer by the name of Paul Buckmaster. Um, he came over to the States, came to New York, and uh, worked with Miles in creating, he wa Miles apparently wanted some quirky melody over kind of a funky beat, so this is what they came up with. This is called Black Satin. Uh, Clay, Clay Jenkins on trumpet and Alan Ferber on trombone.
thank you, thank you. Alan Ferber on trombone, Alan Ferber. And Clay Jenkins on trumpet. So uh, before we do the last tune, I just want to say thank, thank you for coming here. We so appreciate um, the opportunity to play this music for you. Um, and thank you for the, to the Dizzy staff. It's been great here. So give yourself a round of applause. Uh, this, this last um, composition um, is another Joe Zavinal uh, tune he wrote when he was playing f with and for Cannonball Adderley, if you know who that was. Um, and Miles began using it as his opener um, um, all the way up until 72, maybe, from the mid-60s. Um, so it's, it's got a long, long uh, history of, of change and morphing into all, all sorts of things. Um, uh, but before we do this, let me introduce the entire band so you know everybody here. Gary Versace on piano. <laughs> Troy Roberts on tenor saxophone. <laughs> Alexa Tarantino on alto saxophone. Mark Faniff on flute and tenor saxophone. Owen Broder on bass clarinet. <laughs> Jeff Nelson on bass trombone. Rosen. Keith O'Quinn on trombone. Rosen. Alan Ferber on trombone. And 2014 Tony nominee Mike Davis on trombone. <laughs> on trumpet, his birthday, Tim Hagens. On loan from the Vanguard Jazz Orchestra. Aren't you supposed to be somewhere tonight? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Scott Winholt. <laughs> Clay Jenkins on trumpet. <laughs> Tony Cadillac on trumpet. <laughs> on loan from the Count Basie Orchestra, Frank Green. <laughs> Jared Schoenig on, on drums. <laughs> drums. And me, uh, mi hermano, Chuck Bajron on bass. <laughs> this is uh, Joe Zavinal's directions. You're going to hear Tim Hagens, Scott Winholt, Mike Davis, and Troy Rivers. Thank you so much for coming.
Saxophone. Michael Davis on trombone. Scott Winholt on trumpet. And Tim Hagen's on trumpet. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you so much. <laughs>